In this video, we'll be solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. The problem that we'll be working with is solve using the quadratic formula 4x squared is equal to 3x minus 5. Now first let me write the quadratic formula. It says for ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the first thing that we need to do if we're going to solve this by using the quadratic formula is we need to put it in standard form like this one. So I'll need to move these two terms to the left-hand side. So I have 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Once I have my equation written in standard form, I can find the values for a, b, and c. Let me write those over here. a is 4, b is negative 3, and c is 5. Now I'm just going to substitute these values into my formula. So x is equal to negative and then b is negative 3 and then plus minus the square root of b squared so since b is negative 3 we know that negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 5, all over 2 times a, which is 4. I just need to do the math. x is equal to minus minus is a plus, so I have 3 plus or minus the square root of now I need to do this multiplication first, so I'll just copy 9, subtract, um, 5 times 4 is 20, times 4 is 80, and then 2 times 4 is 8. Um, let me do this addition here, x is equal to 3 plus or minus and then 9 subtract 80 is negative 71. And that's divided by 8. And the only thing that I can do on this, um, I see a negative under the square root, which means I have an imaginary number. I can bring that out and put an i in front of the radical. So I have 3 plus or minus i root 71 over 8. Now if you're asked to write complex numbers in a plus bi form, you would write this as 3 eighths plus or minus and then root 71 over 8 times i. Either of these are fine. 